Hi, my name's Terry Allen. I'm the inventor of the bird song identifier. You know, as a novice birder, one of the hardest things that I ever faced was how do you identify that bird song that you hear in the backyard? After all, you look up, you can't see the bird, but you can hear it. But what is it? I can't remember songs, I can't remember music. But I met a guy that really knows what he's talking about. I met Drew Lanham, Dr. Drew Lanham, who's an ornithologist at Clemson University. And uh, for the last four or five years, we've gone out on bird walks. And he's done an amazing job at identifying birds. He can hear a bird that I can't hear, just off of the distance, he'll know exactly what it is. So I thought it would be good and interesting for you if we could take a few of his tips that a backyard birder can use to start to identify birds by their songs. So let me introduce Drew and have you share your ideas, okay? Thank you, you Terry. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, you know, for a lot of us as birders, our eyes would seem to be the first thing to go to, kind of the go-to tool. And of course, with your eyes, you're looking through binoculars. But as Terry said, a lot of the birds that we identify really don't come with our eyes. Instead, we see them with our ears. Yeah, see them with our ears. So hearing is extraordinarily important, but it can be difficult. And as Terry talked about lyrics to songs, you know, kids memorize lyrics to songs and their words that go along that sometimes get caught in our brains. And bird songs are really no different. So there are a few beginning keys to understanding bird song. The first is to understand that birding is really a process of elimination. So I always tell people, I ask them, do you know bird song? And they'll say, no. And then I'll say, what's a crow say? And they immediately say, ah, ah. So understanding that there are some bird songs you know is the first part of bird song identification. That process of elimination, understanding where you are. Are you in a forest? Are you in a backyard? Are you in a field? Are you in a city? And that helps us begin to narrow down what birds might be singing there. Is the song, is the bird sound a musical sound? So is it a whistle like a cardinal? Or is it more mechanical? Something like a rough grouse that... So, thinking about bird songs, seeing with your ears, eliminating by habitat, and then understanding whether the song is musical or not begins to narrow down the possibilities for bird sounds. So, see with your eyes, see with your ears, learn the birds. Terry? Drew, the difference between a song and a call. Ah, great. Well, a song is typically a protracted, kind of this longer, often, um, vocalization by a bird that can announce territory. So it's telling you to stay away, for example, a mockingbird that's repeating songs, threes or phrases, three and four times. It's telling other mockingbirds, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. Whereas a call that a mockingbird might make, kind of that scold, that <coughs> is another kind of contact call. It can also say stay away but in a very different tone. So think about intonation of bird songs. Think about what that song sounds like to you. Now, it may have a different meaning for birds, Terry, so a call is often just a shorter uh, mode of communication saying, I'm over here. Sometimes you'll hear birds give contact calls, and a contact call is simply saying, I'm over here, where are you? I'm over here, where are you? And so knowing where they are in relationship to one another, a call might announce a predator. Mm -hmm. So calls are oftentimes a, just a shorthand in communication. I like to think of, I don't know, calls as tweets. So, you know, social media and Twitter, think about a call as a tweet. Okay. Think about a song as a Facebook post. <laughs> You know, it's a longer thing. It tells more about you oftentimes than a call does. Other birds that sound like their call, mm. 
Bob White. Bob White, yes. Jay. Blue Jay. Jay. <coughs> Chickadee. 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 Dee, dee, dee. Now, that call, that's a call. So we know chickadees by their call. Chickadee. Dee, 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 dee. Here in the south, it's Carolina chickadee. For a lot of our friends uh, further north, maybe to the west, it's going to be black cap chickadees. But chickadee dee 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 is the call. The song for Carolina chickadee is. Oh, I remember that one is I see you. Yes. I see you know those so well. Now, that other aspect of learning bird calls comes into learning the words to the music. Mm. Mm. People call it mnemonics. So we've added the mnemonics to bird songs and added it to our identifier lyric. Um, for example, the Eastern Tohi sounds like this, but remembering it helps to know the words that are similar to this call. Eastern Tohi, drink your tea. Or the Tufted Titmouse. Tufted Titmouse. Peter, 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 Peter. So what we've tried to do with the identifier lyric is organize our songs by habitat to mm -hmm. make it easy. If you're in the backyard, we've got backyard birds. If you're out in the forest, we've got forest birds and so forth. So it makes it simple. We've got all the cards on two uh, double-sided cards. Here's another fun one. Spotted Tohi. Spotted Tohi sounds like Beethoven's fifth. Da, 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 da. <laughs> And this is for Italians who want to learn bird songs, the wood thrush. Wood thrush. Tap, 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 tap. Ravioli. Very nice. I'm done, unless you've got some comments you want to add. <laughs> you just called in. Was one tough to titmouse? How did <laughs> that really? was yeah. to your song there? No, no, tough to titmouse. Here we go. The identifier lyric comes with a nice carrying case, an optional carrying case that uh, will carry the cards and the identifier lyric. And it also has uh, uh, two modes, the song mode and the lyric mode. The songs themselves are so realistic that you can even play them. The birds will hear it and they'll oftentimes come down because they recognize their song. The cards are two-sided. So you can save space. It comes with 240 songs. Ten of them are frogs and toads. There's a pocket for the various song cards, and they're organized by habitat. Here we've got lakes and rivers, marsh and wetlands, field and meadow, birds of the night, birds of the forest, or at birds of the forest edge. And then we've got owls and hawks. Ten fabulous frogs and ten woodpeckers. We've sold 350,000 identifiers. 14 million bird songs have been purchased using our system. The lyric is the latest improvement in it, and it is simply the best way to learn bird songs.